Now, in this module, we'll talk about a case study for an enterprise for a large organization, and we'll look at security posture as well. Organizational characteristics, location Karachi, 10,000 people in the entire organization. Obviously, not all of them are IT users. About 150 um, IT team members out of 10,000, about 200 servers, one main data center, um, one DR site, which is separate, and this is from the energy and distribution sector. So the organizational culture, a large-sized privatized organization. Previously, it was a, uh, a bureaucracy and a, and a government um, bureaucracy organization, but recently privatized in the last 10 years. A strong internal culture was developed because of the private sector. The organizational um, process culture is still lacking, still lacking, despite the, uh, the good performance and maturity of the organization. And teams have high execution discipline. So a very strong discipline culture was found. And we have very good quality uh, and qualification of IT resources. So what we saw from the small to the medium to the large organization is that at the largest organization level, the best IT, the most expensive resources are found at the large organization level because they have more capacity to pay the more expensive resources. IT setup. Um, Windows 2010, 2012, Linux, AI, IBM AIX uh, operating system, mostly Oracle and a little bit of, my, uh, of MS SQL um, Microsoft databases, over 100 internal applications based on SharePoint, workflow automation, uh, GIS developed internally, and ASP.NET as well. In roughly, you know, um, SharePoint was about 50%. GIS 25% and ASP.NET 25%. Uh, we have about 5,500 uh, desktops and computers and laptops running Windows 7, 8, and 10. They're migrating from Windows 7 to 8 and to 10. The uh, continued IT setup is that they also have an asterisk voice server for voice communication. The bad news is that a very, very insecure technology, um, the default voice uh, asterisk technology is very insecure and requires a lot of security controls, which was implemented in the program. One DR site hosted um, with a third-party uh, service provider, and they have all licensed antivirus Active Directory windows and software, which is a fresh and a good change that we saw from the smaller and the medium-sized organizations which had no uh, licensed software. And complete SAP uh, ERP system was uh, suite is, in, is developed is, is actually utilized, and they have about eight modules inside the organization. Security posture, unfortunately, like the small and the medium organization, very superficial, no hardening done, uh, weak vulnerability management program. They were not properly executing it. It was only being done once a year. Poor security management and governance. And uh, the security team existed, but it had no real um, foothold and, 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 you know, was not, not, been, not a strong program. No management commitment. The security requirement was that a uh, security incident happened, and suddenly it was a wake-up call for the management. There were some servers hacked and causing financial loss. Uh, driving change. The executive management was concerned about the information security uh, culture and uh, future incidents of security events. Uh, the board was driving IT to hire a consultant to a third-party expert consultant to drive the information security transformation. And the consultant went in and convinced the organization to actually do the security transformation. The project uh, lasted about a little bit over a year, 15 days for initiation, six months for hardening, one month for vulnerability management, uh, engineering, security engineering, a month, um, and then five months for the certification because it was a larger organization. It took a lot of effort to actually do the stage one and stage two audits. And in conclusion, a strong commitment of the board and the IT director uh, drove the implementation of the security transformation. And ISO 27001-2013 ISMS was achieved successfully as a very credible security credential.